My name is Mabu Lazo. I'm seven years old. And welcome to my math class. Today, I get to be my own teacher. I fired mommy. Too much money. I'm just kidding. So, let the magic begin. Now that I've put all my numbers down, so let's solve it. Four plus six is ten. Five is fifteen. Three plus five is eight. Plus one is nine. Plus six, that turns into 15. Look, nine plus one, that makes 10. Plus 11, that makes 21. And now, look. Ten. Oh, and that's nine. So let me put my nineteen. Nine plus nine. Eighteen. And eight plus eight. Sixteen plus six. That makes 22. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus three, that makes 12. Three plus seven is 10. And one plus nine, is 10. So 10 plus 10, 20. 2 plus 6, 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. And eight plus eight is 16 again. And two plus three is five, so 21. Four plus four is eight. And two plus seven is nine. And nine plus nine is 18. Minus one is 17. Here you go. So, the 
answer is 249 trillion and 671 billion and 300 and 2 million and 289,000 and 155. So now let's erase one line. Five. How can you subtract that? So we're going to add a one, then we cross our three, then we put two. Five needs five to be ten. Five plus four is nine. Two minus five. Six. Put our one, cross our nine, put our eight. Six needs four to be ten. Four plus two is six. Eight minus seven, easy, is one. Eight minus three is five. Oh, much better. Five minus four is one. Six minus eight. Put my one, cross my four, put my three. Eight needs two to be ten. Two plus six is eight. Three minus one is two. Nine minus seven is two. And eight minus seven, one. Eight minus three so easy. That's five. Seven minus four is three. Nine minus three. Six plus three is nine. So it's six. Regrouping. Put my one, cross my eight, and, and put my seven. Three needs seven to be ten. Seven plus two is nine. Seven minus eight again, regrouping. Eight needs two to be ten. Two plus seven is nine. And ta-da! My dot, my dot, my dot, my dot. And here it goes. You see? I did it. So now let's have a break. 652 Minus eight point three nine two seven. Solve this for me. Okay. So the first thing you do is put 
zeros to fill in. Then now, because all the zeros are smaller than the other numbers, it's regrouping. So I put my one, and then I cross it, then it turns into nine. But once you cross the zero, you have to cross the next zero, and the next zero turns into nine. But once you cross the next zero, you have to cross the two, then the two turns into a one. So, enough crossing. No, too much crossing. Okay, so seven needs three to be 10. So three plus zero is three. And nine minus two, that is seven. And nine minus nine, zero. One minus three, here comes the regrouping man. One, cross my five, put my four. Three needs seven to be 10. So seven plus one is eight. And four minus eight, so I have to regroup again. Lost my six, then I put my five. Okay, so eight needs two to be 10. Two plus four is six. And five minus zero is five. They both have four decimal numbers. So I just count one, two, three, four, and I put my dot. Let's have a little fun with the fractions. I'm gonna do addition. The way you do it, you multiply the two denominators. Two times four is eight. So I put eight. And eight divided by four is two. Two times three is six. So I put my six and I put my plus. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 4 times 5 is 20. I put my equal sign is equal to my 8. And six plus 20 is equal to 26. Is equal to, let me just put my eight and I'll tell you. And because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, so we have to simplify it. How many times you can find eight and 26? Hmm, oh, I know, three times. Because eight times three is 24. So let me put my three. Let me fix my bar. Then, instead of 26, we're gonna put two, because it has two more left. And we can still 
simplify it. So we're gonna put equal sign, then we put our three, because three is an odd number. And eight divided by two. Too much marble. So let's continue. And two divided by two is one. And eight divided by two is four. There's the answer. Very easy, wasn't it? And now we're gonna do subtraction. So we put our bar. Three times seven is 21. So I put 21. 21 divided by seven is equal to three. And three times minus four is equal to minus 12. And 21 divided by three is equal to seven. And seven times one is equal to seven. But first I'm gonna put my minus sign. Then I'm going to put my 7. And I put my equal sign. Put my line. Then I put my 21. As I told you, when both of them have the same sign, you have to add. Minus nineteen. One over four. Plus three one over two. Solve this for me. Okay. So what we're looking for, we're looking for a common denominator. So we're going to put this down. Then to get four, we're going to multiply two times two. And once you do it in the denominator, the numerator will say, I want a two. So one times two this times table. I put my two, put my four. Now we have a common denominator. We don't have to put two anymore. But now the numerator is three because we added this one to it. And I just put Three plus two. I just put the answer, which is five, right here. This is the answer, just because we have to simplify. And we don't have to simplify, so this is the answer.
Tada! Two. Okay. Seven over two. Minus one over six. Solve this if you dare. do is put down the one that I'm working with and what we're looking for is a common denominator so as I said the first thing you do is put down the one that you are working with which is this one over 2. Okay. And 2 times 3. And 7 times 3. And now we're going to put everything else. Share the 6. So you just put one, and seven times three is 21. But instead of putting 21, we're gonna put 20 because they have a one right here and it's a minus. So we have to make a subtraction. So we put and zero that makes twenty. And we're not gonna forget our two. And this would have been the answer if we didn't have to simplify. So now let's simplify. So, divide it by 2 and divide it by 2. So, let me put my 2, then I put my 10 and my 3. How many times I can find 3 in 10? Oh, I know. I can find it three times because three times three is nine. Plus three is equal to five. So we have five One over three. And this is our answer. Ta da! So the first thing you do is look to see if you can cross anything. So, hmm. Oh, look, I can cross this. Minus two plus two. Let me cross it. And look, I can also cross these two. Plus three minus three. If it doesn't have a sign, it is a plus. 
So plus 3 minus 3. So let's cross them. And look! When you make this pass the equal sign, it turns into minus. So let's cross it. Then you look at your chart and we're looking for Y. Look, minus 2Y. Let's put it down. cross it because I don't need it anymore. Let's see if we have any more Y's. Hmm. Oh look, there's a Y right here. It's minus two Y. Even though it's a plus right here, it has to change. We're going to cross this and we're going to put the other one remainings on the other side. So let's do it. Plus three. It's plus here, so why did I put a plus? Minus three. Minus 4x. So cross these two. Then they have plus. Then you open and close parentheses. Then you put a plus. And you open parentheses. Minus two z and hmm, what if they have another one? Well, no more. So let me. And then I close parentheses. Then I put minus one, which turns into plus one. I'm going to add these two. So it's minus four y. I add my x's because they're both the same sign. So let me add them. Minus 3x plus minus 4x is equal to minus 7x. Plus minus two C because it has nothing to add it with. And I put my plus one. And now 
going to do something cool. Minus 4y is equal to minus, and then I put minus 7 dot x is equal to 2. So minus 7 times 2. Minus 2 dot, which means times 1 plus 1 minus 4y is equal to minus 7 times 2 is 14 so it's minus 14 and here it's minus 2 times 1 is 2 minus 2 plus 1 and we add these two together And if you want to, you could just put them like this. Minus 14 plus minus 2, which is minus 16 minus 1. It is equal to minus... 15 and you see we're already almost done see how simple this is I'm going to leave the Y out because the Y is the one we're looking for so I put I put Copy this, then I cross them because they're both the same thing. Equal to one. I just cancel that. But here you have to put the same thing. We have to put minus four. But you have to cross the signs because they're equal to one. Okay, let's finish. The 15 is bigger than the four. That means that the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we have to simplify it. Now we'll see how many times you can find 4 and 15. 4 times. Uh oh, because 4 times 4 is 16. So it can't be it. So So the answer is y is equal to 3, 3 over 4. This was my class for today.